one was able to answer him a word, nor did anyone dare from that day to ask him any more questions. So what's the moral of this story? If you ask dishonest questions, you may have your pride handed back to you too. Jesus knew the law better than any lawyer. He had to, to be able to fulfill every part of the law. Do you remember the phrase, every jot and tittle will be fulfilled? If you've ever seen biblical Hebrew, it looks like a jot and a tittle. The whole thing, it just looks like jots and tittles. How does this story help me to relate to Jesus better? Jesus was pushed and pushed, and he never lost his temper. And we can learn from that. Jesus also tried to love the unlovable, and he's still trying to love the unlovable. We need to give in to Jesus. How does this account of Jesus' life apply today? Don't be a Pharisee and don't pick Barabbas. Don't pick Barabbas. Jesus came from the root of David, not the seed of David. Jesus is the second person of the Trinity. And I have that rephrased here. Jesus is the second person of the eternal Trinity. Jesus is not just a temporal person like us. Jesus goes back to the beginning, the very beginning, before there was a thing called time and Jesus is still going to be there when time runs out amen Jesus has been with God since the beginning and the Pharisees could not wrap their heads around that fact amen would you stand with me for a closing prayer let us pray Grant, O oh God, that what has been said with our lips we may believe in our hearts and that what we believe in our hearts we may practice in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.